everything just happened perfectly in such a horrible, devastating situation. And I just wanted to make sure that everybody was recognized for it. Um, you know, one thing is I know that a lot of people don't call 911, and Dad did the right thing and called 911 right away. You know, they saw the situation, they weren't going to give up. From what I hear, that most of the times, if you know, you're not so blessed that these guys, they jumped in that ambulance and wouldn't, you know, just kept doing what they were doing, and it made everything come together okay. They just can't believe that he was a miracle. Um, even the cardiologist had mentioned that, you know, most of the time they would give up when they see somebody in that shape, um, just figuring it wasn't meant to be. But here, it is proof why you don't give up. And he has no brain damage and no heart damage. Um, you know, questionable. <laughs> questionable, yeah, sometimes the brain. But, uh, you know, the, the whole fact of the matter is, is that I think everybody can learn from it. And I think it's a great story to tell. And it's a great story for the Rockford Fire Department and how caring these gentlemen are. And they need to be recognized for what they did and not giving up. I'm a retired fireman from the city of Rockford. I spent 28 years uh, in the service. I was there when we brought in the ambulance services and our first paramedics and uh, kind of grew up around it. And I decided to go out and work in the front yard. I had some mulch I wanted to spread down yet. And I started feeling not right. And I said, this isn't right. And I called 911. They asked me what was going on. I said, I think I'm having a heart attack. Well, we were toned out for a chest pain, trouble breathing call, something that we do go to a lot. Uh, upon pulling up, we noticed that he had a fire truck mailbox. So I did recognize the address, I did recognize the mailbox, and I knew Captain Manson lived there. So once we saw him seated on his sofa in distress, uh, we knew that this was a serious call. When we came inside, he did not look good. Uh, I believe he told us he was having a heart attack. So we started our chest pain protocol. We, we did everything we could do while waiting for the ambulance with oxygen, IV. Um, aspirin, nitro tablets, um, put him on the monitor. Still, you could tell he was in some discomfort and distress. Uh, we put him in the ambulance, and I believe as we were about ready to leave and the ambulance was gonna take, take him to the hospital, Captain Manzin was crashing, was coding. I jumped in the back of the ambulance. Lieutenant jumped in front and drove us, and uh, we started you know, doing our thing, working him as best we could. So I jumped in front and gave the inbound report to St. Anthony Hospital. 73-year-old male, um, cardiac arrest, we're working on him. So they had everybody ready uh, at the ER uh, once we got there. We were hopeful, but he, he wasn't doing well, and, and, and we knew it. I told the doctor once we got there, this is one of our guys, this is a retired captain. About 10 o'clock that night, I get a phone call from the district chief. Hey, White, just want to give you an update on Captain Manzin. Uh, they said he's going to come out of it. I said, what? <laughs> so we're on the phone. I said, man, that is awesome. It is a good story. I mean, we, we do see s things like this quite a bit. And, and unfortunately, a lot of times, there's not the best outcome. And for this to have such a good outcome to such a good person and a good family, it's, it's pretty rewarding for all of us. Because of what these firemen did and what the hospital did, I wound up with no major heart damage. And that's just incredible for what I had. They called it a widow maker. And they said it hits fast, it hits hard, and you just normally don't survive it. So I really have to take my hats off to these guys and what they did for me. We are just so fortunate to be here and talking about this today. We had a great result and everything worked well. He's great. <laughs> Well, just that I'm really glad my dad's here with us, and we're so grateful for that.